PC Perspective's coverage of the 2012 Consumer Electronics Show is brought to you by MSI. So we're going to be showing today here our virtual graphics where uh, our cloud graphics virtualization solution for cloud gaming. And what we're going to show you here today is that for any cloud device, uh, any cloud solution, you actually need a server in the cloud. And this is going to be the server. And then we're going to show you multiple clients running games on the cloud. Uh, and the system here, we uh, just have a, a, a new uh, desktop gra desktop. Uh, a new desktop running the latest graphics uh, from NVIDIA here. Um, on the screen here, you're going to see what the cloud server is rendering. This is not necess yeah, something necessary in an end solution, but we're going to show you how cool it is that it's actually rendered here, and you're going to be playing it somewhere else. In okay. order to complete... Sorry? So that's just for demonstration purposes. This it's is just for demonstration purposes, okay. absolutely. Uh, but I think it's going to be really cool that you're going to be seeing you playing at the client side, and you're going to see what the server is doing, and you can assess the delay, and is there a delay, is there any latencies, how good right. it is, and everything. In order to complete uh, the demo between the server side and the client side, we have a router here. It's just a standard router that is taking everything that the cloud server is doing, and it's routing it out wirelessly. Over here, uh, we have a single, uh, a simple laptop that has uh, one embedded GPU that probably can't even run this game. And we're going to what you can see here that it's already connected and running, and you can play the game really smooth. I can shoot, I can walk around. Oh, sorry, I need to use this. And uh, for the same demonstration purpose that I just explained, you can see it over there running. There's an indication here of uh, our call technology filter showing that it's actually virtualizing it over there. Uh, and you can walk around. You can see that it's very speedy, nice, smooth, no lags. Uh, everything that we know how to do, we can go here. We can shoot. Uh, it's really cool. And now, in any cloud environment, what you would like to do is to run as many concurrent games or users at the same time right. on a cloud server. Here we have another laptop that you can actually run. Just run this executable here? Yeah. You can, what you will notice here is uh, what do I need to do here. Do I need to click something here? Say no. OK. What's happening is that it just invoked an, an additional game on the server. And you have here, and you will be able to play it uh, on the additional client. You're looking for the mouse? And yes, I am. I was going to see if we could just, can you show both of the windows at the same time? I can try. <laughs> Should be possible. Now, what you can do here with, the, with this uh, solution, hmm. you can run either the same game a couple of times in order to play against each other, or you can invoke different games. Well, we can see in both of them running there. He's switching between the windows. They seem to be in a fixed position. But So if we look here back at the, at the laptops, you see they're both playing the same title. Here you go. And so you're not limited to running two of the same game, though. You can also run two different games. You can, you can run two different games, of course. You want to try running, uh, close, closing that one out and see if we can get uh, yeah, a different title? Yeah, let's try a different title. On that machine? And then you can see how you run two different titles. Yeah. You see, it, it went, it closed over there. It's partially closed. Woohoo, Madagascar. Synchronizes. So now it's running both of those games at the same time. Right. So is, is all of the graphics processing being done on the server side then? All of the graphics is being done on, server size, on the server side. Uh, here we just have a, a little synchronization applet that we're using uh, on the uh, client side. So there's not, uh, is, there, is there a lot of CPU load on this, on the client side for this the at client all? side, there's almost no CPU load. It's pure video decoding. OK. OK, and, and even the video decoding that we took here is an off-the-shelf H.264 video decoder. OK. Uh, we didn't develop any special video compression for it. 
uh, and a lot of the smarts has to do with all the core technology we have on this side and what we correspond back as the responsiveness and the um, uh, screen refresh rate of what's happening on your client side. Very cool.